Upon receiving your new Itero Lumina intraoral scanner, you are now ready to assemble your unit. While unboxing, you will find your wheel stand, your monitor, your wand, and your accessory pieces such as your handles, basket, and screws. Additionally, you will find a user guide for our quick and easy assembly, as well as our user manual. Insert your post into your wheel stand. Using the blue Allen key, tighten your screws at the bottom of your wheel stand. Insert and screw in your main handle found in your accessory box. Attach your sleeve basket to the main handle. Attach your upper handle and screw it into place using the red Allen key. Slide your monitor into place. Ensure your spring and screw are secured into place. Connect your cable to the back of the monitor. Insert and secure your cradle using your red Allen key. Insert the base of your wand into your cradle. Push down to make sure it is snug and secure. Connect the wire of your wand to your monitor. Connect your power cable to the base of your stand. Using the cord clips, secure your cord in place. You are now ready to power on your unit. First, insert your power cord. Use the power button at the top of your monitor to turn on your unit. Let's dive into the home screen of your new Itero Lumina. Let's start with our first box, which will be our new scan. In our new scan, this is where we will input any new patient we are scanning for the very first time. Here we will complete the patient's first name, last name, date of birth, and or chart number. This is the location where you are now going to choose your case type, we'll do fixed restorative, as well as all of your Denbrite laboratories will be uploaded into your send to option. You can favorite your preferred Denbrite labs you choose to work with. Please use the upper left hand box to return to the home screen. Our next box will be our patient's box. If I click this, this is going to take me to any existing patient. If I click into a patient, I can now view a prescription, view a scan, or start a new scan. By clicking my back arrow, it'll return me to my box for the home screen. Our third square will be our orders tab. Here we can see a badge. This badge is now showing us that some scans have not been sent or saved. Here we will dive into two different sections, the first one being in progress, the second one being past orders. Any scan in progress has not been saved or sent, meaning if I click that scan, I can view the prescription form, view the scan in progress, continue to scan, or delete the scan. Anything in past orders has already been saved and or sent to the cloud or a chosen lab. My final box will be my messages. If you see a badge lit in red, this is notifying you of a message from Align Technology. This may be an update or important information. Let's look at the top of the screen where we now have five small icons. Our first one being our battery. If I click my battery, I can now see how much charge I currently have. It will also warn me when to plug my scanner in. Our second tool will be our education cap. This is our learning center. This tool is great for any new team members or any new tools you're looking to learn, as well as a specific way to scan a specific case type. Our third icon will be our lock button. We use this for HIPAA purposes to close down our scanner when you are walking away or to change users on your scanner from one doctor to another. Our fourth icon will be our settings tab. There's a lot of good information in this tab, such as how to input your Wi-Fi, change your brightness, sync configuration, as well as scan information for your system. Our final tab will be our question mark. This is going to help us when we need support to log in. If I tap my question mark one time, it will first point to all icons on the scanner and explain what that specific icon does. If I tap my new button, that is now a headset, 
that will populate an identification code that I will read off to the support team on the telephone. This will allow them to now log into my scanner and run diagnostics as well as diagnose anything that might be working improperly on your unit. Using one of the side buttons, you can start your scan. Ensure that you are in the mouth before you click the on button. Ensure that you are across the mouth from one posterior molar across to the opposite canine. Once ready to start, click the side button one time. Move swiftly and quickly across the mouth. We do not want to over scan. Ensure you get all occlusal, lingual, and buccal surfaces. The key with the new Lumina wand is to move quickly. We do not want to over scan. Same thing for the top arch. Ensure that you are crossing from one molar to the adjacent canine. Using the wand tip, ensure that you retract the lip and the tongue with the wand rather than a finger or a mirror. When capturing the bite, insert the wand skinny side in, push out against the cheek, and have the patient bite together. You will move up, down, and then turn the wand off. Make sure you capture the bite on both sides. Make sure that you scan quickly. With the new Lumina, we now have six cameras versus two. The initial scan that you see on the screen will be from one camera only. That being said, process your scan to ensure that all data has been captured. You will only see initial data from one camera until processed. Once processed, all six cameras data will be showing. Here you can see missing information such as these blue spaces. This is where we want to ensure we would go back and capture any missing information. Now that your Itera Lumina is assembled, you are ready to scan. Please log into your unit using your username and your temporary password. You have been sent a link to update your password. As for next steps, work with your Align representatives to schedule your trainings. You have been sent a video camera in order to connect with your Align team during these trainings. During these trainings, you will learn best practices, how to get the best restorative scan, and tools to increase production and productivity.